All right, what's up guys? It's Super here and welcome to another Injustice video and we did it again and hopefully we'll do it again very soon and by again, I'm, of course, I'm talking about some new legendary gear. We already got Swamp Thing on the PS4 but on Xbox One, I have been working on Bane and Batman for like the last, I don't know, two weeks, something like that or a week? Week and a half, two weeks, probably closer. I'm close with Batman. I still got, you know, some ways to go. It'll probably take me a couple of days for my AI to get the Guild Mother boxes, all that stuff. But today, we're going to get Bane's legendary gear. Now, Bane was one of those characters that I was very interested in getting his gear because I actually do enjoy his playstyle. You know, he's very command grab heavy, he likes to hug people. Um, and he does a ton of damage. A lot of people love seeing Bane. So, of course, I wanted to get the Bane legendary gear. So, here we go. Let's go back and beat this boss. I want to do this with every character that I play um, and that I'm about to get legendary gear for. I want to beat the boss and then probably, um, you know, I'll definitely check out the gear that we get. Temporary armor, Diablo assist, and Poison Ivy sidekick. That's what I get. I guess both of us have temporary armor. I have to break that. Um, but I will definitely be checking it out. I'll check out how it looks with all different shaders. And then towards the end of the video, um, I'll probably do like some combos or whatever that specific piece of gear does. You know, the ability. Because I don't know myself. All right. Let us see if prison has toughened you. Don't hold back. I can take it. I had thought you were smarter. All right, so we have to get rid of his... Uh, we have to get rid of his... Oh, he has a Staff of Grayson. Okay, we got to get rid of this armor before... Oh, I'm on cooldown. Shit, I'm going to take a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna cool down now. Oh my god, did not want to do that. Wanted to do command grab. Shit, he's kicking my ass. Staff of Grayson is really good. Staff of Grayson is really good. This is the first time I'm playing versus a computer using a Staff of Grayson. Oh, I missed it. I missed the big combo. Alright, let me check out my assist real quick. There's my Diablo assist. I am thirsty as hell waking up like this, guys. Thirsty! Oh, man. Oh, hell no. Oh crap. Trying to do my combo? Trying to do my combo? Come on, man. Robin is actually trying to do my combo. I didn't invent it, but I do it in my video. So technically it's mine, right guys? That's how it works. That's how it works around here. That's how you claim things. So that was that was actually pretty easy. Um, struggled a little bit because of the staff of Grayson, but I mean Bane does a ton of damage And that's the that's the one combo that I did in one of my videos I'll link it down below if you guys have never seen it um, We're in, uh, in an actual online game. I get an 800 damage combo. I believe it was 800 somewhere around there It was either just short or over. I don't really remember man. I'm getting old and see now. My memory is fading fast I need help. Maybe that's how I'm able to grind these characters All right I don't care about this. Here we go. We got the Bane Legendary. Uh, Bane Venom Tanks. There you go. Bane Legendary Venom Tanks. So what I'm going to do now is go check them out. I was going to do this, but to be honest, 50,000 guild credits is, uh, is something that I need to complete other multiverse events. For example, um, is a scarecrow? I have to open up. So, uh, five out of 300 silver gold or guild mother boxes. And of course, I'm going to use my money to actually 
buy those guild mother boxes because I also need uh, the flash. You need to get the bronze ones, as you guys see, guild mother boxes. So I'm not going to do that like I did it in the last video just because I have so many more uses for those guild coins, guild currency. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm not going to do the other boss, um, but I'm definitely going to play the boss whenever I do play this character to unlock the legendary gear. Okay, let's actually put on the class that we just did. They actually increase the damage. And this is how it looks. So, it actually... I'm not gonna lie, this one that I had actually looks better than this one. That's just me, though. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But I really believe that this one that I have, like the Venom tanks, actually look better than this. But of course, that's just me. I think you guys are probably going to agree, though. I mean, so far... I mean, I, I do get a giant tank on my back. Pumping the venom and stuff, but... As far as the venom tubes... I don't I don't really like the way this looks. It looks like... It looks closed, you know? Like, these look like... You could actually see the venom pumping. And, uh, and this one just looks like the, the tubes are closed. I don't know. But we're going to put it on... So it's 300 strength, 300 ability, 300 defense, and 150 health. So the straight damage augment is Bay no longer has negative debuff effects when Venom wears off. That's crazy. So I could just go to level 3 without caring about losing a ton of damage. I could just, you know, maintain a steady string of Venom usage without, you know, really caring about taking a ton of damage or having like a side effect because once you once you exhaust your like level three it takes way longer to recover than if you just use your your level one so now it's just gonna be like me not using venom if i go up to level three and it it uh you know all the venom spends and uh venom rage when reduced to five percent health or lower on the second health bar bane gains 20 percent increased damage Wow, that's actually, uh, that's pretty crazy. This is sort of like the, um, unstoppable, no, it's a Relentless Jason effect. If you guys remember Relentless Jason, Jason from MKX. Okay, let's check out how this looks with all the different colors. Actually, it doesn't change anything from the front, right? No, I don't think it does, so we'll just keep it here in the back. Actually, yeah, you could, you could see, like, the, the front of it. We'll just do a 360 degree. So, if you guys remember um, Relentless Jason, when you got down to a certain amount of uh, percentage, he got a gigantic, gigantic damage buff. And you were able to, with one combo, uh, a basic combo in the corner, get around 70% damage with Jason. So, that's sort of similar to, to this, you know, damage buff that he gets, which is nice to have. There's been many times where I'm on the magic pixel in my second life bar, or I'm very close to dying, and I pull pull off the victory, and people have done it to me too, so... It might not seem like too much of a big deal, like, oh, 5%, you know, it's not too much life, you're gonna get chipped out, or you're, you're gonna lose, but it comes in handy, that 5% could lead to, uh, this is actually a pretty cool color, that 5%, could lead to oh okay so hold on hold on let me actually check something real quick oh so he does i was gonna say like the highlights next to his arms like on his biceps i thought that was part of this too but it's not i'm like damn that looks cool but it's just the the arm gear this this one actually looks awesome in my opinion this is the best color right here but we'll get to it so i wonder how much damage Bane could do at 5% with a giant combo. We're going to have to test this out right now. Probably not going to be a need for me to cut. If I do, you know, I'll definitely cut it. Um, but I'll show you guys the rest of this. Ooh, gold plated. I like that. Show you guys the rest of this. So, uh... Ooh, damn, all red. This is like my sector color. 
Um, but so far, from the three characters that I've started or that I've, you know, been grinding for Legendary Gear, Bane was the hardest by far. And it wasn't so much that it was difficult, it was more like you have to manually do things yourself if you want to get stuff done. You know what I mean? Like, your AI can do almost everything for you because Bane had a multiple, multiple, uh, rec uh, requirements where you have to finish off a game with a specific move like a super move or you had to do 100 super moves you have to finish 200 matches with the meter burn bane bomb you have to finish 100 matches with the meter burn elbow you know that was a pain in the ass to do with bane like batman batman's was pretty easy the only one that i'm still this is the best color in my opinion let me know which one you guys think is the best color for bane this is actually my favorite color. Uh, I'm probably gonna buy this color whenever I actually record videos with Bane. This one looks cool too. But I think the blue one looks really good. Ooh. The gold Bane. The golden Bane. And the platinum Bane. Fortress of Solitude. All right, guys, here we go. We're about to test out this Bane legendary gear. And one thing that I didn't even notice until I went into training mode just to, you know, mess around a little bit is that, Let let's get this begin. intro, is that even though the legendary gear causes Bane not to have any effects on the cooldown of the Venom, but what I didn't know is that it actually takes damage away from Bane every time that you use one of your uh, every time that you start on cooldown, you know what I mean? Like, okay, I'll show you guys here. So right now, I have all the power buffs and all that for Bane, and then boom, watch. You guys see my health bar? It actually took damage because of the special ability in the gear that allows you to not have any side effects on reduced debuff, like reduced or increased damage on debuff, meaning that... I guess they want her to sort of balance it out, but the crazy thing is, look at level 3. I didn't know about this. It's crazy to me. Look at level 3, alright? Bam! 337 damage taken from me, from my Bane, because uh, I don't have any effects of the debuff. So, if Superman combos me here... Like, if I get comboed by soups, I take the same amount of damage that I would if Bane was just in regular form with or without Venom on. And, of course, he did a little bit less damage just because I have gear on this Bane and Superman doesn't. Um, but that's pretty crazy to me. Like, I don't know if it's worth not having any side effects when I'm in debuff and not taking more damage when I'm in debuff. If it's... If, like, going to level 3 is going to affect me that much of 300 plus damage, it's crazy. Because, um... Oh, I'll, yeah, see, I died. <laughs> because, you know, even going level 1, it's going to add up, you know, 6% or 60 damage, whatever, after going into level 1 debuff. i rather, like, wait it out... On level one it doesn't take that long to regenerate that's why a lot of people only go level one debuff but now i'm taking damage going for level one debuff and then if i go to level three it's pretty much like if my opponent comboed me um just to have that level three buff for a little bit of time um so i don't know if it's actually worth it i didn't even know about that so what i thought was you could go crazy with this and not have any effects going to level three you know uh venom and then debuffing but having no effects I thought that's how it was, but I guess they might have thought that was a little bit too strong. Who knows? But I guess now we'll test out the 20% uh, damage increase when I'm under 5%. So we'll just do it with a simple combo. We'll use 1-1-2, one, one, um, and we'll do uh, level 3, I guess. We'll just go to level 3. So that normally does 463. Now I'm going to lower my health bar to under 5%. Okay, so I went a little bit over there. 463 and that does 556 so you guys can see the 20% increase 
But then again, if you're at five percent and you you want to use your level three deep uh, venom, wins. you have to make sure that you kill your opponent before the venom runs out. Because if you don't, your ass is gone. And even level one, which is pretty crazy, like you get a twenty percent debuff, but it's just without using venom. So that's fine. Twenty percent increase in damage. You don't need to go. You don't need to use your venom anymore because you have a 20% increase. Now, you don't get the armor benefits that you get when you use the Venom, um, but if you're at 5%, depending on your health, you know, um, at least this, these stats that I have on right now, um, I think it was 68 point something. That was my 5% and under for, for Bane, like 68. And I think the level one the level one damage does 67, something like that. So I might be alive, and then my opponent is gonna chip me out. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I'm definitely gonna use it. I'll make a couple videos with it. Um, but I don't know if it's worth like taking all that damage, all that free damage, especially level three. Man, I was so looking forward to being in level three um, a lot, but taking 337 damage on this you know, set that I have here, which has 200 health. It's a pretty good amount of health. Um, I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm still happy that I got it because now I could make some videos with the Bane legendary gear. Um, and we'll see what happens. Maybe it, it does come in handy. Maybe I make some sort of like sick comeback when I have 5% health and under with that 20% increased damage that Bane will get. But who knows? Definitely expect some Bane videos very shortly but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time what's going on it's super here and thank you for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure you guys subscribe if you are not already also check out any of these videos linked at the top thank you for watching and i will see you guys next time